Yes, and where did you come from? My energy's gone. That's why I feel so drowsy. I can't remember anything. I just don't know what happened. Hey, you need an energy cassette? You can speak. Sure, I can speak human language and about 18 types of animal talk as well. Oh, you a robot? Yes, my name is Pecos Pete. I am the new sheriff around these parts. Hey, what's your name? How do you do? My name is Astro. A plane crashed and we just came up here to see if there were any survivors. What? A plane crashed? Oh. Can you walk? I think so. Then come with me. I'll get you that energy cassette. Come on. Excuse me. What is it you say you do around here? I told you. I'm the sheriff around here. My job is to protect the birds and the animals. But why? Because if I don't, they'll all die. You can see for yourself this place is a desert. Well, what the... Look. Look at that. The whole place is dried up now. And where is this? This used to be a nice oasis with clean water. Until now. Yeah. Poor fellow. He must have died of thirst. This was a freshwater spring? Yes. And the rivers and the oasis, they're all drying up now. It used to be a lovely piece of land, you know, with trees and grass and everything. Well, let's go. Get in there. The hole's too small. No, your body's too big. Well, I'll get you that cassette. Just give me your hand. How's that? I think it's too small. Beggars can't be choosers. You'll have to take it. It's the best I can do. But it won't fit in the socket. Oh, well, then I'll look for another one. Now, where did I put it? No, not this. Oh, yeah, here it is. Ooh. It's ancient. I don't think it will work. Yeah, it'll fit. Got that last year off a traveling salesman robot. It's fine. I'll see how it works. Huh? Wonderful robot. Thanks a lot. Now I remember. I came to investigate this place. This area started drying up about a year ago. Isn't that right? Yes. And us animals had to move from one place to another looking for water. And so the International Organization for the Protection of Environments has sent teams of investigators, but they haven't found anything yet. Not one of the investigators has returned alive. Now I've been asked to see what's going on. As we flew over the desert, we met something strange. Huh?
That's all I can remember. Hey, that strange thing you mentioned, maybe it has something to do with all of this. What? There's a big hole right in the middle of the desert. A hole where? There it is, right over there. What? Something's going on there. I'll go see. Be careful. Yes, I know who you are. The most renowned robot in the world. Huh? I'm Livian. This is my castle. Or rather, it belongs to both Atlas and me. Atlas, did you say? I remember I fought with him once. Then you're the one who made Atlas. No, I'm a robot too. A friend of Atlas. So we meet again, Astro. I knew you'd come here. Dr. Elephant asked you to come, didn't he? Hey, how did you know that? Because I know everything. That's why I invited you here. Then you caused the plane to crash. You drained its energy with that sword of yours. That's right. So I guess you haven't forgotten what this mighty sword of mine can do. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to hurt you now. But you should know I have developed other powers since we last met. I'll show you where you are now. The Crystal Castle. My castle. Well, how do you like it? 
This castle can go anywhere on this earth or even in space with the use of magnetic fields. And you might like to know it can also go underground. So all the rivers are drying up and all the animals are dying. All because of you. That's right. I've drained the rivers because I need the water. Just because of you, the animals are dying of thirst. Traveling by magnetic field makes the interior very hot. I need all the water I can get to keep the crystal from drying out. And so now you know. But robots can live without water? That's right, robots can. But humans can't, otherwise they'll shrivel up and die. But why do you have so many humans here? I use them as slaves. I am their master. They do whatever I tell them to do. I keep them in line with my supersonic controller. I once told you my one desire is to control the whole world and everything in it, and now I'm not far from accomplishing that goal. I'll force humans to stop warring against each other. But can't you understand? The animals are dying because of you! In every great conquest, there is sacrifice. You can rest assured I'll make a haven for the animals, too. Well, what do you think? Well, I don't know. It's not right! What's so bad about a robot taking control? You're a robot, too, you know. Listen, Astro. Let's join forces and we'll rule the world together. No! I don't want to have anything to do with this! Let me out! Let me out of here! Huh, foolish robot. See if you can find a way out. Astro, you'll never be able to leave this place. I want you to remain here forever. Well, how's the work progressing? It's already 95% complete, sir. This is Astro's new body. <laughs> and he'll be reborn as my younger brother. <laughs> Where is Astro? Find him now. Yes, sir. There he is. Astro looking for an exit. <laughs> it's no use, Astro. You'll never find the way out. Resemble me in all respects, and he'll work here. Atlas, you said you just wanted to invite him here. How can you ever think of doing such a thing? Silence, do you hear? I'm the ruler. I can do whatever I wish with Astro. Someday all robots and humans will look upon you as their enemy. I don't care what anybody thinks. Livia, as long as I have you. What? Me? Yes, Livia. When I learned that Volpulgis had destroyed you, I felt deep anger within me. It was then I realized how much I needed you. And that's why I rebuilt you. Livian, please stay at my side. Stay away from me. You're different from other robots. Sometimes you frighten me. Volpulgis said he put the Omega Factor in you. Maybe that's it. I don't know what else it could be. Livian. Please go away. Leave me. Livian. Livian, if you go, I'll be all alone. I won't have anyone to share my life.
Astro, I heard everything. Astro, please, you must hurry. The Crystal Castle is leaving the Earth. Atlas plans to rebuild you when we reach a place where you'll never be able to escape. I'll show you to a secret passage. Follow me. What about you? <laughs> he won't escape. William, don't press that. Don't. That's an order. an oscillator, it will break you into pieces! I promise you. Astro, you haven't seen the last of me. Be ready, I'll be waiting for you.
Next time, join me for the Round the World Rocket Car Race. My friend Conrad was one of the drivers, and his car, the White Planet, had won the race five years in a row. But this time he ran into all sorts of obstacles, and it wasn't hard to tell that skunk was behind it all. He was trying to keep Conrad from winning, but I wasn't going to let him get away with it. Tune in next time for the White Planet. <laughs>